Our friends from Festival Foods are in the kitchen this morning. I have Zach and Cindy here with me. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. morning. We're talking Easter meal. You know, it can be a tough one sometimes to prepare. What are you going to make? You have some great ideas for people. Well, at Festival Foods, we're always asking, what can we do to help bring that customer back? One of the things we're doing, Emily, is writing blogs to help our customers. And I've written some blo um, blogs, one being Easter dinner, dinner I can talk, yeah. Easter dinner preparation Early. at home. Yeah. So these are all recipes that my family has used over the years or that I have just reached out and gotten from friends and we want to share that with everyone today. And we have that um, link on our website too where you can just click on there. Zach, you're going to talk about the ham because a lot of people have ham yeah. but there are good ways to prepare it. What do you have here? Um, we have two different kinds of ham here. This is a bone-in grilled ham, uh, honey mustard. We grill it for about 40 minutes, glaze it every 15 minutes, um, finish it in the oven for about another 20. Then we have a half ham bone out with a honey brown sugar glaze. This right here, um, half of it sliced, just to kind of show you what we have going on. We scored the outside, um, and we also glaze this one about every 15 minutes, just to get that nice flavor inside of it, it and the nice great. caramelization on the outside. Oh yeah, that's what you want to have. And then we yeah. also have some other dishes out here. What is we all this, do. Cindy? Zach was good enough to come and help me today. Uh, we wanted to do a couple appetizers. Eggs are a big thing. We actually have how to cook eggs, foolproof, and then deviled eggs. Everybody's asking for an amazing deviled egg recipe. We think we have found that. And we've got prosciutto wrapped asparagus. It is yummy. You wow. can do it on the grill. Um, and that's the other thing. When you have so much in the oven for Easter, that's why we do that grilled option for the ham mm. um, because it gives you that room to prepare everything. Zach, you know, being a chef, puts a spin on things. He did my four cheese scalloped potatoes in a, in a low pan and then cut them in triangles. I thought that was awesome. I usually just do it in a casserole dish and yeah. plop it on the table. Good idea. Then we have the sweet potato wedges. We have the Waldorf salad. Everybody likes that fresh fruit this mm -hmm. time of year. And then the sweet treats. You gotta We've have got them. got peanut butter eggs, uh, toasted coconut. I've seen these uh, eggs in the store single, like a dollar, a dollar fifty. They are so easy to make. Uh, we've got my favorite when I was a child, the little uh, butterscotch and chocolate uh, with chow mein noodles. We used to call them schnoodles, <laughs> but uh, that's just a family tradition. And this is a family tradition, just taking Rice Krispie treats, putting them like in an, uh, a cake mold. Yeah. And I give these out at Easter to different families, uh, either at festival or at my neighborhood, and kids just love them. They think I mold it. They think I'm really good. What a great <laughs> idea. My mom, though, when we were growing up for Easter, she would make a little lammy cake, and it would sure. be a mold. Oh, it was, it was a centerpiece for our meal. So this is something that's really great because, like you said, you can make some of these at home. And right. Cindy had given us the blog, so you can go to our website, fox11online.com, to find that information on there because recipes are on there, pictures. You guys yeah. are always updating stuff for people. Oh, we love doing it. It's awesome. And I do just want to try this as we go to break. Can I try this one right oh, here, you guys? Absolutely. Please do. Oh, that's good stuff. Good Day Wisconsin will be right back. I'll enjoy this during the break for sure.